Hello. We, welcome back. It's a beautiful day to be better than yesterday. Um, we are actually heading to Cab Camp. We are heading into Wimberley, Texas right now. We are, we are about to do a video, a collaboration video with um, this awesome dude named Chris. He owns Zen Soap Co. I'll make sure to leave a link below and his Instagram page below as well. Um, I'm super excited. He owns this store in, um, near Wimberley Town Square and I'll kind of show y'all footage here in a second. Um, so yeah, I'm excited. So hopefully y'all like this video. If you do, before we get any further along, tell them Cap Camp. Make sure to give them a thumbs up. Give this video a thumbs up. Um, and don't forget to subscribe, hit the subscribe button so you can be part of the Team Thrive Together tribe. Anyway, so let's go with this collab. I'm super excited, this is my first one, so we'll see how this goes. Do you want to say your last name or just Chris? Kabia. Okay. How do you say that? Kabia. Well, that's cool. Chris Kabia. And the store is Zenso. Zenso. And then what's the address here? 13801 Ranch Road 12. So I'll make sure to put the address and your link and your Instagram and then where else? Uh, Zenso on Instagram. Zenso Co. C O, like company. Zensoco.com is the website. Zenso Experience on Facebook. Oh, I'm gonna have to and look it up yeah, the the brick and mortar is at thirteen eight zero one Rancho Twelve in Wimberley, Texas. Mm -hmm. It's um in the Old Town Plaza, right behind the Wildflower um, Art Gallery. Okay. Yes. And then we are gonna do a tour of the store of everything that you carry here. I just wanted to dive in first on what made you start the idea because it's the soap that got you into it. Yeah. What made you start that, like your your process behind that line for your life? Yeah, so basically, uh, like it all started, um, I guess, what, in 2011, 2012? Um, I was working as an electrician, uh, I was like formally trained, had a license and everything, but just wasn't really happy with uh, with doing like the, the set schedule, having a yeah. boss. That whole that whole thing just felt like it was draining my life. Yeah. Of course. Yeah, I get um, it. I wasn't really into it. Um, and my brother had introduced me to um, to jujitsu, uh, and I just fell in love with that. It's just like it, it just seemed like um, like the thing I had been missing my yeah. whole life, you know. Yeah. And so I started training jujitsu, and um, and that's hard too. Yeah, because it it's like mental and physical, right? Yeah, Jiu -jitsu, right? yeah, it's really yeah. challenging. It's um, really cool. Yeah, just getting, just getting like basically beat up, you know, for <laughs> a long, long time. It still happens too, you know. You're like yeah. never at the top. Yeah, yeah. Um, even if you are, you know, like a black belt or whatever, which I'm not. I'm a purple belt currently, but cool. um, yeah, it's humbling in that way, you know, kind of like, uh, kind of like life. You know, you can't really ever walk around thinking that you're the shit because. Yeah. Because the world will show you that you're really not, you know. And jiu -jitsu I respect is the same that stuff way. too. Because I mean, you, because like I said, well, from what I see, and obviously, it's like that whole mental thing, like you're training yourself to. Well, this is my interpretation. You can correct me if I'm wrong. Like, almost like to be able to be smarter than your emotions, and then that's like, and then the physical part of it ties in correctly. Yeah. That's the way I perceive it. Yeah, it's like a lot of self-control. I think's kind of what you're talking about. Yeah. You know, um, not letting your emotions get the best of you. Yeah. And, 
and all those kinds of things, you know, just being, trying to be like a humble, like grounded individual, you know, yeah. not getting, uh, not letting your ego get too unhealthy. Yeah. And uh, that's something I personally need a lot of help with, you know, and so yeah. like, jiu is really good for that because it kind of keeps your, it keeps your ego in check, you know, yeah. most people don't stick around, they can't, uh, they can't accept getting, uh, beat up. <laughs> yeah, especially in the And shaking beginning. someone's hand to be able to be like, you know where this is the part, like right. training. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. Exactly. So then you got into jujitsu and it like drew like your passion of like, oh, this is like what I feel good waking up and doing. Correct. Cool. It just opened up my mind to having uh, like focusing more on that feeling, like finding yeah. that feeling of freedom really is what it was about for me. It was like I fell in love with it and I was like, what if I wanted to do this with my life? How would I be able to support myself yeah. while doing this? Um, and I realized that I couldn't do, you know, I was like married to this job and stuck to this job and I wasn't really going to be able to chase any kind of passion that I had, whether it was jujitsu or something else. Yeah. Um, and so it got me thinking about that. And uh, I came to the conclusion that I needed to create some kind of art because art was going to be my way, that was going to be my key to freedom. Yeah. Um, and that's where it all began was on the jujitsu mats. Yeah, I love how you describe it as art. That's like legit. That's like beautiful to sound, like to hear that you're not just like you found your passion in jujitsu and you want to do something. Yeah, that's going to support you to do that passion, but it's still another passion, obviously, because the way you describe it and what you're doing to live a full life that you want. I love like the artistry of living your life and the way you describe it, it's really cool but that's my daughter thing <laughs> uh, her dog's outside yeah there's the door over here to our right yes. we're inside the shop right now and there's yes. a door and there's people walking by so if y'all hear like background where the the store is actively open so then you got into making soap or how did you specifically get to that part? Yeah, well, we were training jujitsu one day and we used to go, uh, if any of you are familiar with Austin, Texas, um, shout out Austin, Texas, born and raised. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, there's a restaurant in South Austin called uh, Bolden Creek Cafe. Oh yeah. So we used to go there and hit that spot. It's a really like awesome vegetarian restaurant. We love that. That's one of Joey's favorites. So, so it was a spot we used to delicious. like to hit, you know, yeah. and we went there after training one day and across the street was this little soap shop called uh, Austin Natural Soap. And uh, I just happened to wander in there and started chatting it up with the lady who ran the shop. Uh, she's been in Austin for a long time, making soap for a long time. And she was just so nice to me and answered like all my questions. And yeah. uh, Were felt, you like in mind, like looking for something specific or just something drew you there? Um, yeah, it was just her, her shop was real colorful, you know? Yeah. And, um, and I always thought soap was like, you know, kind of a cool thing because, you know, it involves like, it's like part science, part art, yeah. you know? Um, I never looked at it that way, but that's a cool way to think of it. So that's, that's what cool. drew me in was like the color and like um, just the vibe of her shop, you know? Yeah. It just seemed like, again, it was like, uh, it was like, oh, you're looking for, you're looking for art, you know, here's the sign, you know? Yeah. So I just went in and she answered all my questions, you know, it was super nice. And so I figured I should probably buy something from her to support her shop. Yeah. And so I bought some, um, some, some it's called Melt and Pour Soap mm -hmm. Base. And it's basically a clear block of glycerin soap. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's soap that somebody else has made. Mm -hmm. And then you basically, you chop up the soap into small pieces, you melt it down, mm -hmm. and you add whatever you want to add to it. So fragrance, color, anything you want to do to make it your own. Yeah. And then you pour it in a mold, and that's called Melt and Pour Soap. And that's what I did the first, the very first time was I used somebody else's base and then shortly after that I, I decided I want to learn how to make my own base. Okay. So that's that cool. I could have total control yeah. over the creations that I made. I wasn't relying upon somebody else. Yeah. And you know exactly what is going into it. Everything. Was it hard like the first few times? Like how many times did you <laughs> say you stumbled and you were like, oh shit. To this day, <laughs> to this day I still mess up batches of soap. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, um, that's cool. Because you're still like experimenting constantly? So, that... Yeah, with uh, with new stuff sometimes it'll come out. I just, I won't be happy with it. And, yeah. uh, and especially when you're always pushing yourself, you're going to like stumble before you get it right. Yeah, yeah. Nobody's ever perfect. And you, you learn know? lessons from mistakes anyway, so that's always a good way anyway. That's a really good point. Like yeah. a lot of the, um, some of the biggest mistakes I've made in soap making and in life mm -hmm. have been uh, some of the greatest teachers for me. Me, yeah, I totally agree with you there. Even like little moments is something big in your life. I feel like 
teaches you something in some way. You always have to look in lessons for everything. If you're looking for it, you'll find it. Yeah, that's something that I try to practice is like, oh, you know, like if I'm having a shit day, like it's not going to be a crappy weekend and for sure. or a crappy week. Like I got to learn something from this and then move forward. So that's a really good point. Maybe I could touch on that for a minute. It's exactly yeah. what you're talking about. Um, like manifesting your reality yeah because it all starts with your your mind and your thoughts mm -hmm. and if you think to yourself a certain thought then you're going to kind of start to navigate in that direction and draw that into your life yep um so with the whole soap thing how it relates to my life i wanted to manifest a picture perfect life like when i when i close my eyes and i would daydream about how i wanted my life to be mm -hmm. That's what I sought out to create through making soap. Yeah. Um, what's capturing that magic. Like the, it's like the same feeling that you feel whenever you hear like your favorite song on the radio or like if you're a kid and like Christmas morning. It's just the like the feeling of like anything is possible. Yeah. There's nothing that can stop you from doing whatever it is that you want to do as long yeah. as you just put it out there and go for it yeah and that's what I feel like it's so the first step is like realizing it's scary because I think that's what holds a lot of people back yes but then like almost embracing it like embrace it it's scary but it that's like a feeling it's an emotion and that scare of like fail is also what drives people so it's like that's the beauty of it all and people get so scared by it and I'm scared to do things like out of the box, but then it's like, you know, you just jump and then you like learn something from it or you like just go with it. Quite honestly, I use that a lot of times as my compass to know that I'm on the right path. If something yeah. is really, really hard for me and I'm having a lot of trouble like getting something off the ground or if I'm like, uh, if there's an issue in my life in general, mm -hmm. that is, um, that's an indicator to me that I'm on the right path Yeah. because I feel like uh, there's a lot of obstacles and and things that are going to get in your way, especially when you're trying to make a change for the positive. There's yeah. going to be all kinds of things that are going to happen to you that are going to make you want to quit and give up and stop. Yeah. Um, and it's just. And, and you didn't let it. Stop I haven't. You. I haven't yet. You know. And there's yeah. been there's been times when well, I've we're really like you on. considered it. You know, because <laughs> it's a lot of work. You know. Yeah. But um. But I mean, that's gonna come, like the good yeah. comes with the bad, you know, and it's- uh, For sure. It's just like trying to learn from the mistakes and- yeah. uh, And without the bad, you can't like truly appreciate realize good. how good, yeah, appreciate how good you have it. You just gotta embrace the bad, because something good is gonna happen. And then always like the way you said, it's also how you look at things. Like you have to like learn a lesson from it for it to be beautiful. You have to be make it beautiful regardless. That's for sure. on you. And that's a struggle that I work on. Have you heard people say uh, life happens for you, it's not happening to you? Yes, yeah. That's yeah. Uh, that's like, it's one of those cliche things that you'll hear people say, but there really is a lot of truth in it, you know? And like, yeah. like perspective, if you can kind of just shift your perspective a little bit. Yeah, and like not play victim to your life. Yeah, like, yeah. Like, who wants to be the victim? Look for the good in everything. Yeah. You know, it's just like, uh, there's, Definitely, definitely been some darkness, you know, I think we all deal with darkness, you know, yeah. and uh, That's basically like the mission that I have with uh, With the company and everything that I'm trying to promote and do is that like yeah for sure, you know, there's like some dark days Yeah um, But I'm like going back to like finding that good that good feeling inside and like remembering that um, That that's just like those bad feelings are just something that is put there to try to keep you from reaching your goals but when you do pass over that rough spot then you're you're elevated you've elevated yeah. yourself to the next level and uh and man it's like so important for anybody that's like trying to uh trying to realize like a different goal or a different future for themselves just to keep going and don't give up you know believe in yourself even when it seems like it's not like you're like, why am I doing this? this is, I'm not yeah. making any money. And you want to give up. Yeah, you want to give up. You know, that's when you really got to push. Yeah. Because that's when I you're gonna. That. That's when you're gonna level up. You hear that, people? Push, push through the pain, and there's always a prize, whether it's small or big, whether it's obvious or not. Use the pain to motivate you. Like yeah. all the bad feelings that I have, um, that's what I use to motivate me. When I go to the gym and I work out, I'm exercising those demons. Yeah. You know, I'm, I'm using the pain and all the bad thoughts and the bad feelings and the negativity 
I'm, I'm like, it's kind of like alchemy. I'm like using something negative and, and turning it into something positive. Yeah. And that's what I try to do with all the negativity and stuff in my life is somehow like bring it in and accept that it's happening and not try to push it away, but, yeah. but use it to turn it in into something good. Yeah, from like pain to positive. Pain to positive. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's a good saying. Pain, pain to, positive. to positive people. <laughs> and then like, this is your products here. It's like soft and like, and like gentle. And like, that's like cool to me too. It's kind of like, oh, like opposites, yes. but it melts together like beautifully. Yes. Which is cool. And then the way you describe like, turning like the pain into positives. So it's almost like the soap is you in a way. Yes. And like, I don't know. That's my. I think that's. I think getting that's, really deep. That's what, good, that's what good art is, though. Right? Yeah, it, like, yeah. It, it, it evokes an emotion from people. Yeah. Um, it makes them feel something, and hopefully, will like start plant a seed for a thought. Yeah. You know, that's gonna help uh, help expand their mind and open their mind, and um, so making is just that. It's the com it's the combining of opposites. Yeah. So you have oil and you have water, mm -hmm. and you combine those two to create something completely new. Um, that's beautiful. And that's the essence of what soap making is about. Yeah. Is, uh, you know, everything is one. Yeah. Uh, essentially, is, yeah. is kind of what the process shows you. So you started in Austin, well you said you grew up in Austin. Yes. What made you choose Wimberley for like a place for you to like open up a store? I have a, I have a daughter that lives in Wimberley uh, oh, okay. with her mother and so that's my connection to the town of Wimberley. Yeah. Uh, I was, I got on Craigslist one morning. I had been thinking that I wanted to have a retail spot because I've been doing farmers markets and, mm -hmm. um, and online sales and, um, you know, wholesale, um, doing things like that. But I wanted a brick and mortar and I just got on Craigslist one morning mm -hmm. and started scanning the classifieds and this was the first one that popped up. So it was like bait, like... And uh, everything worked out and here we are, you know, it's still brand new. Yeah. It's going on, I think, month five or six, but... Uh, it yeah. looks really good and you're going to see it here in a second. The goal has never... The main goal has never really been money. Yeah. Of course you need money to survive. Yeah. And you know, if you're going to follow your passion, you need money to do that with. Yeah. But, um... I just have a, I've always believed that like if you just follow your heart and you, 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 you go after what, you know, that pure, that pure drive that's driving you, mm -hmm. the money will come. Yeah. You know, and so I just, I just want to create like a cool place. People come in here and they get good vibes. A lot of people are coming in here for good vibes, you yeah. know. Yeah. Um, and they just, hopefully they leave just feeling better than they did whenever they came in, you know. Yeah. And that's, that's really what this place is about and what the what the art is about, what is in, so. Yeah. Um, you ready for a tour? Sure, yes. Yeah. Okay. So this is our, uh, this is like our little incense section. So right mm -hmm. here is all our resin incenses, our charcoals. Mm -hmm. um, we have stick incense over here, cones. They're all of our roll-on body oils that we manufacture. They're all plant-based. Mm -hmm. uh, these are our water-based uh, air fresheners that are also skin safe. We rent shelf space out too to other local artists. Mm -hmm. So um, if you're a local artist and you want to have a place to sell your stuff, contact me. Um, it's inexpensive for you to sell your stuff in our shop. And this is one of the vendors that we have. Um, this is All Humans brand. They make a universal oil for hair and body. Amazing products. I use this stuff every day. Yeah. Um, the owner gave me a bottle to use and it's it's really good stuff. Also made in Austin, Texas. Oh, cool. 90, 99% of the stuff in here is handmade by local artists. That's cool. Um, got some crystal soaps right here. This is like uh, one of our signature products. Uh, this is the one products. I bought. No, wait. It was similar to this one. So I think. We do them in uh, Amethyst, which is that one. And then we also do them in Citrine. Oh, this is the one I got. Yeah. I showed them on another video. Thank you, mm -hmm. yeah. So citrine is known as the abundant stone or the merchant stone. It's, uh, it attracts um, attracts wealth or anything that you want abundance with. I love that. Yeah, it doesn't have to be money. Yeah. Um, amethyst is known as the stone of sobriety. Um, that's why we put it in Oh, this. I didn't know that. That's why we put it in the soap, yeah. That's cool. Um, the ancient, uh, ancient Greeks, I believe it was, uh, used, they believed that uh, amethyst protected from drunkenness. So they would make wine goblets out of pure amethyst and drink wine out of the goblets. Oh, <laughs> really? Yeah. That's a cool thing. Um, some more local uh, jewelry by uh, Courtney G. She makes uh, she makes this rose gold jewelry. Um, That's really pretty. Got some sage, Palo Santos down here. 
Um, these are our body oils. This is actually the last ones we have in stock because we're not making these anymore. We're only doing the CBD infused versions, but this is what we got left. Mm -hmm. um, essential oils. Here's uh, some of our new soaps. These are foaming CBD soaps right here. Liquid version, and then we have our solid version, mm -hmm. bar soap. And on any of the soaps that you buy, you can plant the soap wrapper and it'll grow wildflowers. So they're all plant-based, vegan friendly. Um, everything's made by hand. Yeah. Like literally from the soap molds I made by hand, I pour the soap bars by hand, I cut them by hand. The paper that's around the soap is made by hand. Mm -hmm. The whole process. You can really tell whenever you use something that's handmade. Yeah. Um, what else do we have? Uh, just some little small soap bundles that you can put next to the sink. Um, got this uh, this jeweler here. This is um, this stuff here is made by uh, this is lavender lace jewelry, and mm -hmm. it's all uh, jewelry that you can wear, and it's aromatherapy, so you can put essential oils on the back of the jewelry. Really? Um, yeah, this stuff's pretty popular. Um, some more of our our bar soaps. This is all the new packaging. All of these right here come in the seed paper. These are our six best-selling scents. And then all of these over here is just, these are discontinued scents that we're trying to uh, move out to make way for the new stuff at the end of the year. Mm -hmm. So our old packaging was in a recyclable white box. Yeah. But uh, thought it was cooler to have the wildflowers. And you get to see it too. Yeah. It not being in the box, but that's, yeah. Yeah, you can see it. Um, these are still really beautiful too. Yeah, and all the all the colors and uh, any of the colors that you see in the soap are, are earth derived. So it's like either clays, root powders, or herbs. Mm -hmm. um, so a natural product. And then one thing I do wanted to point out: Are you selling these things too, or is that just decor? Yes, these are these are our soap savers. So a bar of soap actually goes like on top of the so on on top of the soap saver. It helps drain the water. Mm. And uh, increases the life of your of your bar soap. I need to buy one of these before I, w I leave. Um, by the are, way, <laughs> these are handmade by a guy in Oregon. Um, they're made out of recycled, reclaimed wood. And uh, every time I buy from this guy, he sends me a postcard with him and his family thanking me for the order. So I support. That's this awesome. Guy. Yeah, and it's really cute. Like yeah. it's like aesthetically like that caught my eye, and then the way you have it set up too. I think it's really really like adorable and I feel like I like that style so it's really pretty Thank you. and your soap looks wonderful on top of it so excellent product and anybody for that's, one. <laughs> that's using handmade soap or bar soap these will help keep your bar soap from getting soggy in the shower yeah because I hate that and soft and mushy yeah 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 that um, just sounds gross <laughs> yeah right these right here are, this is another version uh, I've got a couple of these these are pretty cool these are made by another one of our artists that's in the shop these are also soap savers, but these are stoneware. Oh, cool. Um, so these are made out of pottery, ceramic. Uh, they make all kinds of pottery and ceramic. All of these is one one artist? It's or actually one... a couple. Oh, cool. Um, the dark colored stuff is Crete stoneware, mm -hmm. Hector Crete. Um, he makes these amazing stoneware bowls and teapots. Uh, he did the mushrooms that are over here also. Um, and then his girlfriend is uh, Morgan Gray. Mm -hmm. And she's with M. Gray Ceramics, and she does all of these really beautiful, like bright, patterned uh, pieces. That's really pretty. Yeah, and they've all got like a stamp on the back. Wow. And so a couple of talented artists there. Yeah. Um, this is our CBD section. We carry a full line of CBD and kratom products. Everything from CBD oils that you can swallow, topical creams, um, treats for the dog, oils for the cats and dogs, gummies. We have a little bit of everything in here. Yeah. And, um, it's all it's all high quality, third party tested, legal in all fifty states. Are these for the dogs? Yeah, those. Those are, the are so cute. Yeah, and most of our uh, CBD is manufactured right here in Austin, Texas, too. Like, uh, our extracts is an Austin-based company. Uh, GRH, or Grassroots Harvest, is Austin-based. Oh. True Hemp Science is out of Austin. That's cool. Yeah. That's um, like gourmet doggy. Yes. That is, is so cute. Hook your pets up, for yeah, sure. Yeah, they're family. You got to. Yeah. 
That's awesome. I want to talk about this stuff too, especially like with the soaps, the way that you put that together. Sure. And then, sorry, now, and is this? Got, uh, this is like our little apothecary section. So we've got some, uh, some herbs over here, loose herbs. You can make teas or any kind of infusions. These are actually the same herbs that we use in the soap. Oh, cool. Um, <clears throat> White Deer Apothecary. This is like fire cider, um, an elderberry syrup, and some different balms. She's a local herbalist that works with native Texas plants and formulates her products um, cool. from the native plants. We've got the Shitty Artisan. <laughs> that's, that's her real... Her, that's funny. Her real name, yeah, but her products are amazing. Um, so her stuff's, her stuff's real good. She makes <laughs> candles and other body care. <laughs> Crystalline Moon, she does these uh, terrariums with the air plants and the, and the animal bones. She doesn't kill any of the animals, she actually gives the animal new life through her creations. Cool. Yeah, so, so it's already something that's like probably... It's already passed away. Yeah. She, she wild, wild She's just making something them. beautiful out of, out of what's gone. Been dead. Yeah. yeah so kind of giving it a, a rebirth or a new life in a sense. That's a beautiful thing. Yeah. Her, she's really talented. Um, all the artists in here are super talented. I'm very yeah. fortunate to get to work with so many talented people. Yeah. Um, Heathen Moon, another artist that rents shelf space from us. She uh, does Norse inspired body care products. So these are all wearable essential oil blends associated with the zodiac sign and i've heard um that because obviously i'm a girl and i wear like perfume and stuff i've heard like all the alcohol and that stuff like i work in the dermatology field too and like alcohol on the skin is like drying and everything yes. so like i was like oh crap but obviously i'll finish the perfume i have now but this is awesome for like to be able to smell good and it be natural and like good for your skin and not yes. like ruining your skin. Correct. So that's freaking awesome. Most of the body care items on the market are uh, made with toxic ingredients. I mean, mm -hmm. it's, it's really not any kind of like a hidden thing, you know? Yeah. It's in the food too. Yeah. Um, some food. So you just gotta pay attention to what you're using and uh, I think it's best to stay yeah. as natural as you possibly can. Yeah. Um, Aaron Chrisman Designs. Another very talented jeweler. Uh, probably the most popular Ooh. jewelry in the shop. It's her stuff. That's really pretty. And then we've got, um, this is Full Moon Apothecary and Goods. She does candles. Uh, all her stuff is Reiki infused. It's, um, it's made in accordance with the moon cycles. Um, so really nice products here. Her candles are very popular. They're intention candles. Each one has a, a use. Oh, wow. Um, they're all infused with crystals too, so you get a cool crystal in there. Um, Cedar Creek Handmade Creations, they do all of the leather work. These are some of the, the wallets that they make. Um, but the main thing that they do are mm -hmm. the brooms. Oh yeah. So like uh, you can see there's one up here hanging up. Oh. And then we have a bunch of them out here. Oh yeah, you have some of those back there too. Yeah. Those yeah. Are, those are the medium sized ones back there. Yeah. And then these are cool. Yeah. Rooms. So they're all handmade. That's cool. Um, and last but certainly not least yeah. is Brooke Farmer. She's a tattooer in Austin, Texas. She's currently tattooing out of mom's tattoo. Okay. She's the one that does all the watercolor on wood. These are all hand painted oh, originals. Wow. Let's get a close up. Yeah. Super talented girl. She doesn't trace any of this stuff. This is all freehand drawn and painted. Wow. Yeah. I like these. These like really catch your eye too. The laser grid skulls. Yeah, no doubt. Those are so cool. No doubt. Has she done any tattoos on you? Yeah. Is that how you got to know her? Yeah. Which yeah. ones does she do in uh, case there's like tattoo lovers? Any on my arm. She's okay. uh, just tattooed my uh, my leg and my, and my foot. Oh, okay. So we're about... We're above the knee right now, working, working the way up on cool. this. Cool. Okay. So and then, that, so what do we have this group being first? So this is, uh, I have two companies of Zen Soap, which manufactures uh, body care products and CBD infused body care products. And then we have another, I have another company called Magic Botanicals, which does strictly CBD products and mm -hmm. Kratom. Cool. Um, so this right here in this group is the Zen Soap manufactured uh, products that are non-CBD. This is our best-selling bar soap. Um, anything that says Blue Dream, we sell the most of. This is by far our best seller. Okay. Um, these retail for $7.99, the bar soaps do, and you can plant the soap wrapper and it grows wildflowers. They're um, 
plan. And it has the directions on there too, how to do it. Online, yeah, on our yeah, website, yeah. zensoco.com. Yeah. Um, and yeah, they're natural soaps, plant-based, vegan-friendly, uh, really excellent, excellent soaps. Mm -hmm. Very moisturizing, made with shea butter. Um, good stuff. It's our flagship product, and really, the soap is what the company is all about. It yeah. started with soap, and it'll always be about soap. Everything yeah. else that we make is just kind of an addition to that. Yeah, and but, it feels like almost like buttery. Yeah, but like it's weird to buttery and like I think it was the CBD one that I have, right? It's like a minty, buttery feel to it's it. Tea tree peppermint. Yeah, yeah. that one. It's ooh, beautiful. Yeah, people really like our soaps. Mm -hmm. um, they're super moisturizing and long lasting for, for handmade soap. Yeah. Um, so that's our what our bar soap looks like. We have six different scents. Mm -hmm. um, they're, all, they're all our top scents. And you said how much were these again? These retail for $7.99. $7.99, okay. Yeah. And then we have our crystal soaps. Yes. Um, it's the same formula as the bar soaps. They're a little bit bigger, a little bit thicker to accommodate the crystal point mm -hmm. that's in the top of this, the bar soap and these are natural crystals um, the amethyst comes from Brazil wow. and um, people are often like well why do you want crystal in your soap <laughs> mm -hmm. it looks it looks cool for one yeah um, a lot of people buy it just because they like the way it looks it's beautiful mm -hmm. but um, if you're into the metaphysical properties of the stones at all then you'll know that amethyst is calming and uh, you know, it's just kind of like the idea of washing with, with energy, you know. Uh, mm -hmm. Bathing is kind of like a zen experience. Yeah. And you have the crystal left over when you're done with the bar soap. Yeah. And it's like some people are like, well, do you actually think that a crystal has energy? Do you yeah. really believe in that? And it's I like, do. Really, I think I think what, how you can explain it to those people or to anybody really is that um, it's all about your intention. Mm -hmm. You know, and the crystal can remind you of your intention. Yeah. And, and draw that into your life. And yeah. That's, that's really. That's what, what really drew me into buying it. I was like, ooh, yes. Like, wash my body with the, like, the mindset of like, I'm washing my body with like, something that's natural and yes. it feels wonderful. And then like, the crystal in it, it almost made me feel like I'm bringing good and like, physically putting it on my body. That and that's like so how I, that that's <laughs> I wouldn't exactly visualize I it like, oh, I'm bringing wealth and like washing my body with like wealth. And it's like, like in different like factors, not just money, but like a wealth and like a beautiful day for tomorrow. Like that to me is wealth. Yeah. So, or Goodness. continued love and like health and everything. And that to me is wealth. So I'm like washing over my body with it. Yes, so absolutely. Yeah. And push that positivity. That yeah. Real positivity too. Not the fake positivity. Yeah. Yeah. The real so these wonderful yeah crystal soaps um make great presents um, yes and they're affordable as well these are 12.99 they retail for 12.99 um we have zen mist also uh retails for 12.99 um these are air fresheners they're water-based air freshener and body spray so they're skin mm -hmm. safe oh nice um, and they come in three different scents our top sellers white amber blue dream and lavender Mm. Yeah, these are nice and refreshing. Um, and then our oil roll-ons. This is an oil base. Also comes in white amber, lavender, or blue dream. Mm. And it's a roll-on oil, so you can roll it on and use it as a natural perfume or cologne. Okay. Um, and then how much does this one cost? These are twelve ninety nine. Both of them are each twelve ninety nine. Uh, these two are twelve ninety nine. Okay. These are seven ninety nine, and the rollers. $14.99. The other thing about our, our oil is the blend that we use. Mm -hmm. um, it's a blend of three to four different oils and they're all high quality oils so they don't leave your skin feeling greasy or oily. It soaks into your skin. Yeah. It absorbs quickly. Nice. Um, so that's all our basically like our full line of like um, uh, non-CBD products. Okay. And then moving over here are all of our CBD infused body care products. So we make everything in either peppermint tea tree or citrus lavender, mm -hmm. if it's CBD infused body care. Um, same formula as the regular bar soaps, but we've added hemp seed oil. We offer a 50 milligram CBD bar soap or a 100 milligram CBD bar soap. Okay. Um, the 50 milligrams retail for $12.99 and the 100 milligram are $18.99. Um, you can plant the wrapper and it grows wildflower as well. The main benefit of using CBD in a soap is its antibacterial properties. It's an really? extremely uh, effective antibacterial, mm -hmm. natural antibacterial too. Yeah. Um, and it's also an anti-inflammatory, so if you have 
irritated red skin. Um, it'll help soothe soothe any kind of like irritation you got going on. Yeah. Um, and it's just it kind of helps promote relaxation as well. Yeah. You know? um, reduce muscle pain and soreness. It doesn't soak in as much as like a topical oil would mm -hmm. because of the nature of soap. You bathe it and then rinse it off. Mm -hmm. But uh, you still get some of the benefit out of it. The main benefit being antibacterial properties. But combined with something like a body oil, my ritual is I go to the gym, train, shower with the soap, and then I put this body oil on. And this body oil is also plant-based, 100% natural, mm. made with essential oils. Um, and it contains 250 milligrams of CBD. So it's an excellent, excellent moisturizer, but it works really well to combat muscle soreness or joint pain. Um, so the combination of the soaps and the oil works really, really nicely. Yeah. <clears throat> and then last but not least, we make we make a foaming liquid version. Oh, cool. CBD soap. So we've got a travel size. This is the one that was made for the gym. Fits mm -hmm. perfectly inside your bag. And then these are 25 milligrams in each bottle. And then the large bottles are 100 milligrams. Yeah. Um, and these last a really long time. These big bottles do. They've got a foaming pump on the end, so you get a nice foam, nice foaming lather. Um, a little more convenient than the bar soap if like you're on the go. Yeah. Um, and then how much each are these? The bar soaps are $12.99. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the travel size foaming CBD soaps mm -hmm. are $14.99. And the large 100 milligram foaming CBD soaps are $24.99. Nice. Our uh, body oil retails for $39.99. Okay. Yeah. So all very affordable. Yeah, because you wouldn't even need too much, so it actually is worth the money because you don't put on too much, right? Right. A little goes a long way, and uh, anybody that's used this stuff will, will attest to the quality of the products. Yes. You know, everything is, is handmade and super high quality. We try to use the best ingredients we can find. Um, so you get what you pay for. Yeah. Um, and yeah, we, we try to keep the price point as best as we can. Okay. Natural and all the body care products are also THC free. So if you're somebody that works for law enforcement, you're in the military, you're a truck driver, you work for the school district, something where you have to take random uh, drug screens, you will not come up positive for THC using our products. They're That's a good thing to know. THC free 100%. Nice. Yes. And so, then what do we have here? Last but not least, this is uh, this is Magic Botanicals. Um, and it's uh, magicbotanicals.com, M-A-G-I-K, magic with a K, botanicals.com. And this is our CBD and Kratom line. Um, we sell wholesale CBD extracts um, and then retail ready CBD and Kratom products. So CBD, uh, CBD stands for cannabidiol. It's been really popular as of late. Um, we've been selling it for a while. Um, and basically it's used, um, it's used to relax. Mm -hmm. um, people will take it for sleep. They'll use it to relax um, for pain. They'll use it to reduce pain and anxiety. Mm -hmm. People with seizures, it stops the frequency and severity of the seizure. So kind of a miracle, a miracle plant. Yeah. Um, if you haven't realized yet, everything here is plant-based. Yes, we work, like, love it. We're working with the uh, with nature to heal. Yeah, essentially is what yes is what the idea is. So, um, THC free and full spectrum tinctures in several different strengths. Our little starter bottle is 200 milligrams. These retail for twenty four dollars. Um, we sell a lot of these to people that have never tried CBD and they want to see if it's going to work for them but don't want to spend a lot of money on a larger bottle. Yeah, that's smart. So these are probably our most popular bottles. And then you can step up to a larger 1,000 milligram bottle. Um, if, you, if you've tried the smaller, the smaller dose and you want to get a bigger bottle that lasts longer, that's what these are for. Um, and these retail for fifty nine ninety nine for the thousand milligram. That's a really good, really good price. Yeah, yeah. We try to keep uh, try to keep everything as reasonable as possible. Yeah. Because um, this stuff helps people, and we don't want anybody to not uh, be able to get the help because it's too expensive. Yeah. Um, this is what everything is made from, cannabis. Um, this is hemp. It's uh, not marijuana. So this is the hemp variety. It's the cousin of marijuana. Um, this will not get you stoned because it doesn't contain very much THC at all, mm -hmm. but it's close to 20% CBD. So it's got a lot of CBD in it. And that, this flour is what the extracts are made from. Nice. Yeah, so you can cook with this. Um, you can do all kinds of things with it. It's just nature's medicine right here. It, it grows naturally. Um, 
This stuff is grown in Oregon. It's sun-grown, organic and pesticide-free. Uh, very nice, nice stuff. Um, and then we also sell it in a pre-rolled version. So it comes packed in 100% uh, organic hemp cone. That's awesome. Yes. Uh, these retail, these are $10 each or two for 18 for our pre-rolls. Super popular. And our hemp flower jars, three and a half grams for $24.99. Nice. Um, and then last but not time. least is the Kratom. Um, Kratom is a tropical evergreen that grows in Southeast Asia. It's a tree that grows over there and they harvest the leaf, dry it and grind it. And it turns into a powder. And you can make a tea with this powder. You can um, chase the powder with orange juice or make a smoothie. Um, it also comes in capsule form. If you don't want to deal with the powder, the powder is kind of bitter tasting. Mm. But um, you can get it in capsule form as well. These are vegetarian capsules. Nice. Um, works really good for pain. It's also got like a mood boosting effect to it. So if you're, if you, you know, if you're not feeling very good and you take some kratom, it'll kind of pick you up out of the dumps. People take it for depression. They take it for pain. And if you do research on the internet, you'll find that a lot of recovering opiate addicts have used Kratom to get off of the hardcore opiates. Wow, that's good. Yeah, that's something Big Pharma, you know, doesn't want. They don't want people yeah, they getting don't want... off the pain pills and using a plant. So a lot of this stuff isn't FDA approved, but it really does save lives. They tried yeah. to ban it in Texas, and uh, there was a giant petition that got signed because so many people get... Uh, you know, therapeutic benefits from it. Yeah. Um, it's an amazing plant. Uh, it really does work. Yeah. And all of our Kratom is farm to market, so it mm -hmm. comes from the same family. It's all tested for heavy metals or pesticides, so you're getting a clean, consistent product, which is the main problem people will find with Kratom mm -hmm. when they're sourcing from online vendors is one batch could be really good, but the next batch from the same vendor could be not so good. Yeah. Um, and with our supplier, we get consistent batches, high quality, um, excellent, excellent Kratom. Actually, How much does this cost? The large bags are two ounces for $22.99. Mm -hmm. We sell a one ounce bag of powder for $12.99 and uh, 30 capsules for $12.99 if you prefer the capsules. Cool. We're in about 20 locations. Zen Soap is in 20 locations, uh, roughly, in the Austin and San Marcos area. We've got, we're in a couple of shops in California. Okay, cool. Um, but like all the Tom's Markets, you can find us there. Um, Austin Gift Company, we have the storefront out here in, uh, in Wimberley. And of course our website, zensoapco.com. Cool. Um, and if you use code ZINSOAP at checkout, you can save 10%. Yeah. It's ZINSOAP, all one word, all caps. Oh. You get 10%. Um, 10%. Chris, thank you so much for having me. I really appreciate all of this. Um, if you are interested in anything uh, that Chris has to offer, all the CBD products, all the soaps, again, I'm gonna put the information in the description box below, including this store and the address and all the other stores that carry his products, as well as your Instagram, your website, and everything else. Cool. So that way everybody can easily find him. And then I will also make sure if you're interested in any of the other stuff that you saw in the tour, the jewelry, the soap holders. Yeah, the soap pottery, holders, ceramics. The pottery, the wood ones, that it's cute and I'm gonna get one of those before I leave. Um, jewelry art, um, I'll make sure to get all the information for those artists and put those in the description box, description box below too because that's one thing that I love about this store. You're not just selling like your stuff, you're giving the opportunity for other artists yes. to get out there and get their stuff on literal shelves. Um, and it's all really beautiful. So if you're ever in Wimberley, Wimberley, Texas, then you can come to this beautiful store and meet Chris. And how often are you open? Right now we're open Friday, Saturday, and Sunday um, from 12 to 6, um, Saturdays 11 to 6. Cool. So, not during the week, people. Go do your jobs. Go family time on the weekends. Come here and you buy all the goods. Yeah, you can still get it online during the week. Yes, exactly. Perfect. But the environment of the store, if you ever want to come in, it's going to be great. It's a great store to visit. Um, so that's going to close it out. Thank you so much, Chris, yes. for having me again. And before I forget, because I always like to close out my video like this, I like to let people know you're beautiful. 
you are loved and you are worth everything that is good in the world. Chris, you're beautiful, you're loved, and you're worth everything that's good in the world. And I believe everybody should remember that. But I love you all so much. Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and then just check out all the stuff from Chris and all the other artists in here too. All right, love you all so much. Bye.